we are the freak show. We walk around the city and everyone's just looking at us. When the going gets rough, you know how the saying goes, sometimes things happen, life happens, and it's not always our fault. In this podcast, we'll feature real life testimonials from people like you, from good times to bad, funny memories and hard lessons learned. Everyone has a story and everyone has been there. From business owners to parents to young adults, The Hive Five aims to tell stories of overcoming the struggles of adulting while celebrating the little victories of life. In each podcast, our guests will give insight to five key takeaways from someone who's been there and done that, leaving you better than when you started. Thanks for listening today. My name is Kagan with Brightbe, and we also have Catherine Parker, Marketing Director of Brightbe on. Hey guys, thanks for listening to the Hive Five podcast. Our guest today has a pretty unique story and experience, so we're excited to talk to Chris Hendricks, uh, currently an international church planner located in Rome, Italy, with Converge Worldwide. He and his family moved to Rome last year, but before that worked in the oil and gas industry for over 10 years, and he has a really unique story and look forward to hearing from him. Chris, how are you? Great, Kagan. Thanks for having me on. We're really happy to have you, and we want to hear a little bit about what you're doing. So let's just dive in here. What are you doing in Rome? So I am an international church planner. So someone might ask, what in the world is an international church planner? Well, let's let's talk about what is a church first. A church is basically a community of people who are who are pursuing after the same vision and mission, right? So so how is that different from any other nonprofit organization or, or business? Um, In the church, we believe that God's designed each one of us with a purpose in mind, and that's to glorify Him and have a relationship with Him. So the church as a community, not not a a building or a a place where people meet, but when I talk about church, I mean a people as a community, as a group who glorifies God through our love for Him, our love for one another, um, through our, our words, our actions, and the relationships that we, we have with one another. So when I talk about church, that's what I mean. And so church planner is someone who, who goes and starts up these communities, basically. Uh, the next question would be, why international? Well, if you just read the news or maybe even look around you where you live, you'll see that the world has become more globalized is kind of the the fancy term for but in other words people are moving from their home countries to other countries to live or to stay for a couple years or maybe even a couple months depending on the situation in fact an interesting fact if you were to put everyone outside their home who's outside their home country into one country you actually have the fifth largest populated country in the world so that gives wow. you an idea of just how many people are outside of their home countries. And, uh, and imagine being one of those people that you, you're, you walk into this place where you don't know the language, you don't know the practices, you don't even know how to how pump gas in your car, right? So, so you walk into this place and, and you have no idea where to go, who to meet. Now, all you know is you're there for your specific purpose that you've come there for. And so internationals, those who travel and live abroad in different areas, they desire a, a community to relate to. So, so internationally, church planning provides that community for internationals who are coming in to, to plug into. Um, the next question would be, why Rome, right? The Vatican's there. Um, right. and, and despite that, though, there aren't many churches that actually exist for internationals in Rome. Um, and so Rome's one of the most diverse and, and international cities in the world. And yet there are few churches here and few communities specifically designed for them. And in fact, Kagan and Catherine, let me put in perspective for you. Uh, if we were to take all of the internationals in Rome and in the surrounding area in Rome, and put them into one city, it would be about the size of Oklahoma City. Side note for anybody who has listened to the podcast before, or even if you haven't, I am just like, I'm sitting here and I'm just absolutely blown away by the people that we interview and their stories. Kagan, can you vouch for that? 
I, I just long to be over there with him right now so that I can experience what he's experiencing and be able to have those stories as well. And I, I know right now that's not where the Lord has me, but I, I want to be over there to be able to, to see it firsthand and to, to hear and to experience because there's something, there's something about it to be able to experience what, what he's experiencing right now that is just so amazing and, and, and so humbling. And so I don't know if that answers your question, Catherine, but there you go. <laughs> well, if any of you, if any of you can't find Kagan, it's He's obvious gone to Rome. Gone to Italy. So Stole him away. We do not Rome. disturb. Yeah, do not disturb, son. We'll be back soon. <laughs> so, Chris, I, I know we could talk all day, but I want to go ahead and go into your five key takeaways so that you can share your most important lessons learned with everybody who's Yes, listening. yeah. So so the first key takeaway, learn to laugh at yourself, okay? So you're going to uh, make many mistakes in whatever you do, right? So if you decide to move overseas and go internationally, you're going to screw up the language and, uh, and you're not going to pronounce something right. Or if you decide to stay right where you're at in your town and you make a choice to pursue after a business opportunity or um, go after a, a, a new passion or new thought you have. Look, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to mess up and have issues and just learn to laugh at yourself and, and not take yourself so seriously. And so if you, if you can't laugh at yourself, you'll become frustrated. You'll become bitter towards others. You'll find it hard to make relationships. And so just, uh, just learn to laugh at yourself. So that's my, my first key takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go. 